All right, in this lesson, I think we will create another sheet and put some elevations on there. Structural don't do so much exterior elevations as they do kind of bracing elevations and sections and stuff, but we're going to kind of go through the motions anyway. Um, right click new sheet and use our same sheet. Let's drag on an elevation and see how it fits size wise. Um, let's grab an east elevation, drag it on, place it over there. Ah, it fits pretty good. Let's grab a north elevation, click on there. Um, let's grab a south elevation here and a west elevation. And notice we can line these guys up. Escape, escape. So I'm going to pick on here and just nudge those guys over. Okay, and then again, we can go through the tedious process of constantly re-stretching these little view tags. I really wish it, it would just come in at the right size instead of the view size. So I'm using my control button to pick both of these and using my nudge arrow key to nudge them over. So there's some kind of side elevations. And what we want to also do is create, I think we've got room here. I'm going to grab, actually, I'm going to grab the top two and nudge them up. I'm going to grab these guys and use a shift nudge to move them up. And I'm going to create some framing elevations down here. Watch. I'm going to go back to my main floor. I'm going to say there's some like some K bracing over here. So watch. I'm going to go to view. And instead of making a regular elevation, I'm going to do what is called a framing elevation, which means I get to pick on a grid line. And what, what it's going to do is it's going to create a special elevation that is almost like a section. It's going to cut right down the middle of that grid line. And it's going to go between these two grid lines. So watch. I'm going to pick on... Actually, I'll pick on here and click. And that's made a new elevation inside of here, a framing elevation. Click, oops, click, click, and it's going to create a framing elevation. I can change this to say fine detail. And what it's going to do is it's going to show me just what is in that, right on that grid line. Okay, if I drag this over, I'll go far enough to see the other grid line. Okay, so now I can add some bracing in here. So I'm going to go up here and say structure, and I'm going to create a brace. And the brace, I'm not going to use a wide flange. I'm going to use steel angle. I could use a channel. Joist, here we go. Angle, ooh, 152, that's a pretty big angle, but let's use it anyway. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to snap from here to there. And it's going to put that brace in there for me. And I can go from here to there. That one cut back the way I was expecting it to. I should cut back. However, we want that bracing to work. Let's pick this guy and just drag him back down here and see if he'll cut himself back. Delete. Okay. Um, I think I'll go opposite direction here. The structural guys are probably laughing at me. I'm just looking for that sweet spot where it will. Cut back. Um, let's do this guy, create similar, snap from there to there. Not quite giving me what I want. Is it there that I want? Will it cut back? Okay, um, now you can position it. That one turned out good. Okay, create similar. Pick that same point, maybe, and go right down to there. Use your tab key. Okay, that one cut back nicely over there. So you can play with those end nodes. 
um, and I can turn that cropping off. I can go in here and add some dimensions onto there. And then I can take that elevation, go down to my sheet and say, oh, here's my K bracing framing elevation over there. Pick on here and stretch this guy around, put them into place. So we've got our standard exterior elevations and a framing elevation for our bracing.